cool. So just uh, we were just having this conversation. I have Sunny with me uh, over here, who has again achieved some phenomenal results with U Ability. Uh, Sunny is a personal trainer, and he's currently in Pune, Maharashtra, where the situation of the COVID cases and everything is not so good. But yet, uh, thankfully, uh, Sunny has been able to transition online, and as I said before, get some phenomenal results. So really, really happy to have you on this call, Sunny. What I'll do is I'll just ask you some questions so that other people can understand about your situation and maybe get inspired or maybe learn. how you were able to do this so maybe they could also get some results so sunny what's up man can you can you just walk everybody through your background who you are um what you do and how did you become a fitness coach and everything just just some background about yourself would be great sure sure ron hey hey uh, that's i i think it's a it's my first uh, interview with rohan so i'm i'm pretty much excited that uh, the discussion i've had and uh, the story that i'm going to share with you so thank you for that thank you for inviting me uh, so i started my journey 3 years back and uh, got into fitness health and fitness after i had quit my job so i was working as a as a it consultant i was into sales and uh, post my masters i decided to join a corporate and uh, that's how my corporate uh, industry started i was doing it sales for good 2 years so i was always into sales and marketing but fitness health and fitness was something that i was always keen about because i used to ensure that i keep myself fit and healthy while i was doing so i also realized that there is a need for health and fitness for my people especially for my peers for my family friends because they always used to ask me that how how do you manage to keep yourself fit because even i was working in the corporate so they could obviously understand uh, the repercussion in terms of time constraint uh, managing health and fitness still doing work so they used to always ask me for help that's where i used to give them uh, uh, information or tips but then i realized one thing over a period of time that uh, uh, even though i am sharing an information they may or may not take it seriously because it it's something that can be taken for granted as well but there were some set of people of especially in my community who were actually getting results and that's where when i thought that because i was not given the right guidance i have learned the hard way because it it took me a long time to learn the entire aspect of health and fitness we we see only health and fitness as nutrition or exercise but uh, it's it's much more beyond than all of this thing it works more in a psychological function rather than just a uh, nutrition or exercise so to in order to understand all of this thing uh, it was my own case study wherein i transform myself uh, from uh, a lean guy to uh, transform and then again i uh, went on to put on a weight because of my lifestyle and i realized that nothing is stagnant i mean nothing is something that you can hold on to uh, if your lifestyle goes for a toss so you have to ensure that you have to keep yourself fit and having said that you have to ensure that you are always responsible and uh, accountable for your health and fitness that's where the need and guidance for from a coach is very important for every individual today everyone needs health and fitness and this is where when i started interacting and helping people i thought i realized that my entire passion is toward this health and fitness so i got into this professionally uh, uh, in 2017 and uh, yeah uh, i started operating at a at a gym uh, which is a, a functional fitness brand a top functional fitness brand in the country and i used to handle uh, nutrition for them um, for good 2 years uh, uh, but primarily it was in an offline model where i used to help and uh, provide nutrition to client who used to come to the gym but then i also realized that uh, uh, that's something that i cannot reach out to everyone there are people who require my assistance let's say that uh, i am operating out of maharashtra but there is someone who require my assistance in bangalore or let's say in uh, uh, any other part of the city how do i still reach out to them so that barrier was still there uh, that's where i started taking a plunge into the online space 
but uh, it it wasn't doing that good because i did not have that know how of the technical space uh, that's where i bumped into you ability by virtue of one of my uh, friend come my client romit so romit is uh, just for uh, you to know romit has been my client i have helped him transformed and he has achieved uh, one of the best transformation uh, which i still vouch on and i still uh, uh publish his testimonial <laughs> to get get those i uh, balls from people to see how testimonial has worked so that's how that's where he introduced me to u ability and uh, i was at the first first thing that i thought when he told me about u ability i was like uh, okay here is probably that's they, they are going to talk about marketing uh, uh, how do i flourish my business not that something that i didn't thought before because i have been into sales and you see there are a lot of service provider today who talk about increasing your sales increasing your numbers but in reality not many of them do it and i remember the first time when i spoke to pratham i i fondly remember he told me that uh, when when i told him my pain point my gray areas he told me you just need to ensure that in the first one month not even the one month three weeks you're going to clock number i was like okay i i was premeditated because i was already given a reference from romit so i said that okay it may or may not work if it works it's 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 good for me but i was taking that risk for myself but then when it actually happened and happened in in a good number and in a steady state that's where i thought that hey man that's that's something that is is working more than my expectation and then it actually helped me to understand that the potential is humongous it's huge is just not that you can work as an individual you can actually scale it up and can go as a as a big team wherein you can generate good revenue because ultimately we are talking of facilitating health and fitness which is the need of the earth and i think it's it's still very early but i am very happy and glad that uh, i have such a team and a community wherein everyone comes together help each other and i think uh, it's just not the one part of the assistance in the course it's everything that has uh, brought in together right from developing your funnel to the inputs that we get from our peers as well has actually helped me in fact one of the call that i got from one of the community members today itself actually gave me some input so the sh- information sharing in the in the group also helps a lot and that's where you open the hor- horizon and you get an understanding that how big the opportunity lies so yeah th- it's it's pretty good so far and all of the uh, revenue or the business that have i have generated so far in the last one one and a half months it's organically i have not spent a single rupee it's by virtue of whatever content that i have posted and i'm surprised that i had the same content earlier as well i had the same audience earlier as well but i didn't generate any revenue out of it it was just for my socializing factor it's it's uh, quite surprising that how can you how fast you can convert your social platform into a uh, a professional platform and get business for yourself it's it's really amazing hmm that's amazing so i think that's like a really amazing story i just want to go back to the uh, point previously when you you know started offline you know teaching people about nutrition or helping people with nutrition uh, can you talk about those days a little bit like how were you signing clients then what was your model how were you delivering uh talk about the challenges you were facing at that point of time and why you decided to go online so i'll tell you uh, rohan first thing is uh, when when i used to operate in an offline model the biggest challenge for me was dependency on the gym hmm so every member who is walking in was given a consulting session which is i think uh, a dominance in any gym there would be a different uh, uh services that are provided in any gym and wherever nutritionist or coaches are working so it's like an ancillary service we should understand one thing that anyone who is coming to the gym are coming to buy a gym membership that's their first priority right 
but whenever we try to sell an ancillary service it it will not hold that attention no matter how my uh, product is strong or how my service is strong the first idea of any individual to come to the gym is to buy membership when we try to sell any of the ancillary services especially in my case when i used to sell nutrition it used to go as an undervalue thing so even if an individual is buying it uh, probably they wouldn't pay as per my expectation or as per my value that i'm offering because he has already paid an amount so that was one of the biggest challenge and coming to the second thing because the dependency was there on members or customers walking in the gym there were days when uh, members or customers or new walk in didn't come so it used to have a direct impact on the business so if there was a surge in number of uh, people coming in i would have a bigger funnel but um, in most likely scenario if we understand gym penetration in our country is very less it's hardly 1% so imagine with 1.4 billion population 1% less than 1% of people coming to the gym imagine the kind of business you are losing out and especially we we still look at at this as a strong clientele which they are not because they are coming to the gym to buy gym membership and that's where i realized that it's it's not something that's viable the entire force and my effort is is going in a different direction uh, the effort that i'm putting and the return that i'm getting is not that good but the advantage in in working in an offline model there was which is helping me right now is the network because uh something that you connect with an individual in an uh, in a uh, face to face is actually helping me because i have created some story some testimonial for myself which is actually helping me in an online uh, operation right now because there is some credential there is some human touch that i have already delivered so that was one of the advantage that i experienced while i was working in an offline model but then ultimately the revenue part the business part it was taking a toll and that's where i decided that uh, uh, i would start online uh, not that before this entire course i didn't try online i did try online i tried running a ad campaign but because i did not have that expertise the first hand expertise like anyone else i i gave this entire work or outsource it to an agency but you would understand how an agency work they wouldn't have an understanding of nutrition or the technicalities that i would have so they would run a campaign or any uh, let's say um, uh, any kind of information that is given to an individual is very generic something that would not reach out to an audience the absorption was not there in terms of content because there are so much of content that's there in the universe ultimately how much can an individual absorb would be dependent on the content so like i said like anyone else i outsource it to an agency who whom i was relying on but ultimately it was not fetching me that kind of revenue in terms of what i was spending so that was another downfall that i experienced and because of all of this ecosystem it ultimately led to a collapse because after this covid 19 uh the entire gym operation uh, started feeling the heat even before the covid 19 i would say because uh, right from uh, after september 2019 when the market was already low we started feeling that the business was going down but uh, covid 19 the entire pandemic state was icing on the cake to just uh, perish the business completely so one thing was for sure all the trainers all the fitness coaches including me uh, uh it, there was no source of revenue in terms of from where we could generate revenue because the ultimate uh, center for us or the store we can say physical store was gym which was shut down and uh, looking at the state at how rapidly the entire situation was increasing even if the gym opens tomorrow let's say Uh, there is no way that the business is going to increase for sure because people don't have that confidence and if there is no people who are coming to it we are still digging our hole we we will still not get business uh, so that's where i decided that why don't i make a shift arrangement towards in an online space where i would explore opportunity because i i used to see a lot of uh, people who used to do good as well but that percentage of people was very less So there's still a lot of people who still want good information good value what about them 
and that's where uh, when i started uh, uh, following the course step by step and started building the platform i saw a result and it wasn't that it was the result came late as and when i started building step by step from day one i started seeing result and i was like okay here is a thing it's it's something that uh, is speaking the truth to whatever words that was quoted to me i can vouch on to it that it started turning true and uh, yeah that's that's how the journey has been so far for me so i'm still in a learning phase but i think it will be a, a great ride it will be like a roller coaster thing for me but i'm sure it's it's something that i'm going to enjoy for sure hmm 100% man because there's a long way so when you were telling me that in september 2019 the market was all obviously not looking so good and slowly gradually covid was the icing on the cake so when you decided to transition online yourself as you told me you were trying to do it even before the program so what were you doing then and what do you think was the mistake that you were making then that you're not making now see one of the mistakes that i made was not using my network see uh, most of us today have a facebook account or instagram account who are taking up any kind of digital presence and even for that matter a fitness coach everyone has a, a social media account but we don't value it in terms of knowing the potential we 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 should think as everyone especially and being a sales person everyone is doing sales right from a hr to marketing i see this way from you are in any vertical but ultimately you are doing sales and if you are a fitness coach you should know in and out about the product because ultimately you are also selling it mm-hmm. so it starts from home and your home is basically your friend your family members your peers i have always undervalued it i have never realized the kind of potential or the business is there because they know me there is an outside there is an outer world they don't know me but there is already a inner world where they know me they know sunny who is a fitness coach who talks about health and fitness i have transformed myself i have a story i never utilized it they they know for a matter of fact that there is a problem with an individual be it, it can be anyone be it one of my friend who whom i meet every day but i have never tried to find out or probably he he must have told me but i have never tried to identify it and give him a possibility or a solution i think that was one thing that i never did and that's what one thing that i have utilized right now and it's it's worked for me i have gone out and today also wherever i go out i see a sales potential everywhere if i am talking to someone that person can be my lead that can be that person can be my prospect i need to speak to them i need to find out i need to ask the right question and trust me i have had uh, during again during this situation also i have converted client while i'm going for a walk in the society hmm really by just working out so i i was just working out uh, because we don't have access to the gym now even the society gym are closed but we are allowed to work out i was working out and it's very easy you just need to interact with people if there is if you are working out if you are taking care of your health people would come and ask you what kind of training you are doing or anything that's where you need to interact through a con- conversation ask question and trust me if rather than selling that's what i have learned again selling does not work you just need to give them a value add first if you give them a value add that client is yours that person will not go anywhere if not today if not tomorrow after a week after a month it will come to you for sure and that's how i have cracked lead anywhere so if i go out spend my time i see it as a business potential simple i give a value add in return i put them in a funnel and ensure that there is something that i sell to them even if if it's my education or knowledge or awareness every anything but i should give them a value add so that's something that has worked for me so it's just not an uh, uh, obviously the 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 uh, like i said the uh, the paid thing the organic thing has worked wonder for me i'm sure the paid thing is going to give me a 
a wider set of audience and reach out to probably places where i have not gone so far mm mm-hmm. absolutely man so this was just like a demo test now comes like the big scale which you are going with paid ads and that's going to be wonderful as well sunny i want to know that do you have like any kind of certifications or anything like that uh you know as a personal trainer or like what what's the scenario like over there so uh, i'll tell you when i started with uh, uh, nutrition which is my core forte and because i'm a transformation specialist i also specialize in exercise but nutrition holds the key because we need to understand that nutrition is very important when it comes to any result right from transformation to medical condition you think of anything uh, result is uh, uh the factor of result has a very great proportion of nutrition not that exercise is not important so when i started uh, studying about nutrition and all of those thing i did not have a certification but when i started doing it professionally when i got into it professionally that's when i decided to do my certification because in india there is no license per se required to become a uh, uh, provide nutrition unlike uh, a country like dubai or middle east where it's very important you need to have license in order to provide nutrition but in india if you are certified you are legitimate to provide nutrition plan to an individual uh, there are special cases where you need to be uh, like uh, need to take uh, help from a medical practitioner like let's say someone who is a cancer specialist a patient or someone but otherwise for general fitness health and fitness you can provide nutrition so i did a certification called isa that's international sports science association that's a us based online uh, certification that i did that was my first certification uh, that was into sports and fitness nutrition then i did my second uh, nutrition course which is precision nutrition uh, which is again um, uh, a us based certification which i did uh, which was again online so these were my two certification that i hold as a as a credential as a certified professional um, like i said eligible to provide nutrition plan and uh, specializing in transformation hmm got it that's amazing brother so based on the conversation that we have had so far i think we have noticed some important points uh, the first one was when you were working with the offline model over there you were you know had to be on the mercy of the gym so if the gym is Absolutely. doing good right that's like if their their main need is over they have paid for the gym membership so anything that you are selling to them was like kind of upselling right absolutely so that's something that not everybody would be motivated towards plus then you would actually have to go and talk to so many different kind of people and Correct. those people will also be limited because obviously you know the number of clients that a gym gets is also limited right all the right so, yeah and to adding to this is also uh, because nutrition and training we say it goes side by side both of them are important aspect for any uh, physical attribute or any transformation but having said this there is another disadvantage is trainers and nutritionist are two different individual right if a train if an individual is coming to the gym right there is a pitch or there would be see there would be a different sales pitch that would go to an individual to a client for that matter there is a person who is pitching for zumba there is a person who is pitching for personal training there is a person who is pitching pitching for yoga nutrition you, you see ultimately a client gets confused and he yeah. doesn't buy anything so it's not a structured way because ultimately gym has to make a revenue and they would see that pitching everything to the client it's not something that goes as a structured process that okay i have a client whose need is this and i need to pitch only this no it's everything so ultimately even if a nutritionist or a coach who is there in the gym working slogging himself wouldn't get any return because by the time a client is coming to you he has been pitched eight services <laughs> and you are the ninth one yeah so i mean you are anyways in the back seat and by the time you give your best pitch you said the client would be saying that hey i mean i have i have been pitched everything i have decided i'll go for it so there is a drop out as well because of this very reason so mm-hmm. the client is confused what we are doing right now in an online space we are only pitching a product i am getting a client to 
where an i know that what's his requirement i am not pitching for everything i know there's a requirement and that's where i get hold of a client who is ready to pay at one go and substantial amount for a x service which is result mm. a client doesn't know whether i'm obviously when i tell them that i would be giving an exercise but ultimately they are not coming for a gym membership they are coming for a result mm. and that's where the bifurcation happens and that's where that helps for a conversion wherein a client can pay a higher amount more than what they pay in a gym for an annual membership mm. and unfortunately that's the state in our country because everything in our country is undervalued right from a gym membership which is sold at 8000 or 10000 annual membership imagine the kind of money that the trainers would make and obviously if a client who is coming to a gym paying 10000 annually for a gym membership won't pay 20000 to you for nutrition or a transformation it's 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 a fact and uh, you you can't convince a client to pay 20000 or 30000 for a service no matter how good it is because that client has come with a mindset paying 10000 annual membership so how can you change that perspective perspective of a client irrespective whether the client has that paying capacity hmm right that's a very good point i think uh, the one point that you mentioned before um, where you know the client has been pitched like so many times that like see talking from a client's perspective when i go to the gym and this has actually happened with me as well i was like trying to do squats and some like somebody would just come from behind and they're like sir sir movement mein kuch galat hai <laughs> and then i'll be like i'll be like uh, you know i'll take off my headphones and i'm like okay aap aap bataiye like what well, should be the scenario and then he like give his own inputs and everything and then i know what he's doing i'm like dude just like make me your sales pitch and then let's right. just get over with it absolutely so that would happen like so many times uh, you know that the client himself would be like kind of annoyed that what, exactly yeah. see the comfortable the the comfortable aspect of a client goes because a client a customer you cannot think that a customer is fool the same thing he has experienced in see the retention in a gym is not more than a year the mm. client has gone to 10 other gyms in his or her locality mm. so he has he or she has experienced such a thing you are also doing the same thing and that's something that's i think that's present everywhere in the industry mm. even i have experienced it even i have like i said i have learned it the hard way the more you try to go after the client the more the client will run away from you hmm right the absence of giving value is the biggest uh, what do you say is the missing link in the entire proposition of getting client and delivering that gap we bridge that gap there you go you have a client ready for yourself hmm right that's very correct also sony i think there is like a lot of misinformation as well in regards to nutrition and our different kind of workouts uh, programs as well um at least like based on my experience like please don't take me as like a nutrition expert or something just from a layman's perspective right. what i've uh, seen is you know the knowledge that most people have right and what they actually tell their clients like i've heard them uh, say it it's it's not correct okay so for most of the people they like some basic concepts that i'm pretty sure you must be familiar with uh, like cal- cal- calories you know how much protein you need how much uh, you know carbs you need and everything correct um i i still remember like when i started going to the gym for the first time people were like uh, yeah you just eat like you know uh chicken f- five times and then you eat egg five times and then you just like don't eat any rice don't eat any roti and then you just like um you have to work out like six times a week and then uh, take this 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 supplement so i think the knowledge that people are sharing is like really false that cannot That's be it. adjusted according to um a lot of people and um, people blindly follow it so what are your thoughts regarding this this uh, whole scenario 
See, Rohan, I'll tell you, like I mentioned earlier, the gym penetration in our country is very, very low. Like we are talking about 1.4 billion population. And there is a substantial group of people who are working professional, who has that spending capacity. Even they opt out of going to the gym or they don't have that uh, motivation to go to the gym. Not that they don't want to feel good about themselves or look good about themselves. Everyone wants to look good. But what's stopping them? The sustainability part, like you rightly mentioned, that you were misguided. See, it's a first-hand information. If we are going to the gym, a first point of contact is a gym trainer or someone whom we bump into. Now, he is the person who needs to guide, right? Give the right information. What if you, if I give you an information which you follow and then don't get result or it's not something that's viable for you to follow it day in, day out? This has actually happened. I'm like, sorry to stop you. And then the person would say, oh, the reason is because you're not taking steroids. <laughs> exactly. So, ultimately, no one tries to find out that why an individual has dropped out. Yeah. If you are not getting result, it's only by virtue of you not following the program. But have I tried to find out why the individual has not followed a program? I definitely paid a hard-earned money to take a gym membership. So for sure, I want result. Mm -hmm. So here is the thing. You don't need to give an information which is not required by an individual. You need to give such an information where it can be applied in day-to-day -day life. And that's where you see a lot of information that's available to us on internet. Most of them, I would not say that's a trash, but it's irrelevant to us. Hmm. So even if we follow and we don't see result, that's where my confidence as a client breaks. And I can't trust a trainer or a coach because I have been misguided. Now, because I am fit as an individual and I put an Instagram video or anything or information which I say that, hey, you know what? I have been following this and I'm getting result, right? Now, because I look good in terms of my fitness level, the person on the other side who is not fit, he would say let me pursue this but that person doesn't know that that's just a marketing gimmick because i am just trying to hold your attention by saying something now what's happening to the individual on the other side the client he or she has an aspiration that i am going to follow this and get result but let me tell you that it's more to do with the psychological thing person who is overweight or who is struggling to lose weight because that's the majority of the clientele we tend to get people in in india most of them are struggling with high weight or obesity or diabetes mm. imagine that person has put in his hard effort in trying to do and not see result just to realize that he has put in his craving his put effort tried all of this thing imagine the kind of trauma and mental pressure that that person goes up and that's where most of us most of the individual drop out because in the first hand the information that was provided to them was incorrect we were, we have shown them wrong uh, aspiration we have shown them wrong dreams you need to create a, the right roadmap because these guys are trusting you and that's where information which is which can be as info, informative and helpful it can also become misleading for an individual and that's where a lot of people have innumerable myth i mean countless to say i'm sure you would have heard thousand of them there are people who follow anything in terms of uh, uh, i'm not going to name brand but a shake diet or a seafood mm. diet you see food and you eat it, no diet, water diet. I mean, what kind of diet are you trying to follow? What kind of training are you trying to follow? It's not something that is viable for us. We need to understand. We need to take steps. We need to take small steps to build that. You can't show uh, an empire on day one. You need to set the right goal. And that's where I think coaches don't show the right kind. Setting up goal is very important. You can't show that, okay, you are going to achieve 18 kgs in this many period. No, you need to show the right path. You need to set short-term goals and then visualize the long-term goal. We can't set at on day one the long-term goal. Obviously, then anticipation of an individual would be the long-term goal. And if that person is not going to achieve it, after some point of time, there is a frustration. A mere frustration, there's a dropout, for sure. It's more to do with the psychological disorder. Hmm.
great part i think this is the reason why most coaches are unable to retain clients on a long term absolutely yeah um i think you've laid out a great point which comes into the delivery part which a lot of coaches don't actually follow um right. i think what we must realize is that human beings uh, the reason why they are not getting results is not because of some sort of diet or some sort of a workout program or anything else that you're preaching to them it's because of as uh, sunny pointed out because of their psychology that they have over the period of time formed certain habits because of which they are you know obese and obviously they are unable to actually go through that transformation so until and unless we don't fix their mindset their psychology and their uh, their eating their whole habits from day one right i think that's like a whole mindset transformation um until we don't fix that part no matter what kind of workout routine or diet you bring to them like as sari was saying water diet <laughs> so like it's it's not going to uh, work out because then your clients will end up blaming you they'll be like you know you told me this diet it didn't work out now now it's your fault right so i think it's a, it's a good point that sunny said that from day one start working on their mindset uh rather than you know just sticking to some sort of diet and everything so uh, sunny any other mistakes that you see coaches currently make that you think with the whole online model and with you ability they could actually improve like any other common mistake you see in the industry see the uh, rohan the advantage of online is obviously you have access to larger set of clientele uh, you can maneuver anywhere in the country outside the country you can go international your bandwidth your horizon is big so obviously if your work is good you will get clientele but let's say that you you get a decent number of clientele for instance for me as well i have got fair number of clientele for example now now here comes the delivery part which is very important one is obviously acquiring a client but it's more important that once i get a client i need to give results that's for any other coaches or or the trainers they, they do this biggest mistake of not delivering result see human bodies are different it's not selling a product that you sell a product or giving a after sales service that you say that you are going to fix a machine you are fixing a body so you hand holding for individual it's lot of monitoring motivation because it takes lot of motivation for individuals to start from a scratch i treat all my individual or client with zero skill set and zero motivation you can't expect them to have bare minimum of skill set or motivation that's how i have the frame of mind in order to train their body and mind and this is where i think the the coaches also go wrong because once they get the client they think that just by giving them the plan they would get results no absolutely not it's the first initial one month that either breaks or makes your client period to that either you can make a client or you can break a client very simple so you have to ensure you give your best you need to ensure that you give that motivation support and that is only going to come if you show some result for an individual i can talk about myself i am today so confident about the entire thing because i have seen some result similar is for individual as well see we are not talking about a best diet plan or a best exercise plan i can follow a very good plan because i might be fit on individual who has a six pack abs or a eight pack abs they might be following the best plan in the world but what about those individual who have never followed i am trying to give them the best diet plan but the question is can they follow it absolutely not so let's that's this is where the entire uh, mechanism or the ecosystem of giving a plan goes wrong you need to drill down to a plan which a client so you need to ask you need to put yourself in a client shoes thinking that can this individual follow this very simple and if you have the slightest of hesitation don't share this it's as simple as that you might see some get the slightest of the result that would still give them the confidence rather than dropping off mm. so i would rather work backward in uh, sharing a plan wherein i get some result and build that motivation because until unless the, that individual doesn't have that confidence on me as a coach he wouldn't go ahead with whatever i am telling him in future probably i will tell him to follow a little bit of strict plan in future he might not or she might not because 
i didn't see any result initially why should i trust you mm. so this is this is something that i think uh, most of the coaches go wrong with and uh, this is where the problem lies and uh, this is where the delivery part fails because as an as a as a service provider i have shown lot of dream aspiration because i am selling a service i would definitely pitch to my uh, best benefit in terms of showing a b c d everything but what if i don't deliver it that's that's something and that's li- likely to happen that's bound to happen it's a it's a sustained it's a it's a continuous journey so you need to provide that hand holding and that's where if you don't produce uh, as a coach good results i'm not saying 100% result there can be a little bit of drop out as well but if you don't put results it the the network or the industry is also such that it can backfire you if one can, client can get you 20 clients one client can pull out 20 clients and this this is something that i've experienced it all of the things that i'm saying is based on my experience that i've learned uh, not something that i'm talking out of the blue or out of somewhere from uh, wherever i've heard i have experienced all of this thing and hence i'm sharing this information because if you get result for a client it's like creating an experience for them it's it's like changing their entire life you are a you are a doctor to them you are basically uh someone who is taking care of their health they don't need to pop pills to be fit mm. uh, there, there is a large part of the society who are popping pills to be fit but they don't understand the root cause of everything is lifestyle disorder you are trying to fix it we are doctors not on the on terms of degree but probably in uh, in some other sense by fixing your lifestyle issues by fixing your health hmm very important point man very important point so that being said man like when you were telling me earlier romit referred you to ult uh, i didn't know actually he was one of your clients so yes i'll i'll ask so romit you. was one of my case study uh, romit was so i conducted a program called as potato project the, this concept was uh, and i'll just share a small story there's a story behind this romit came to my place uh, in pune he used to stay in pune now he is relocated to mumbai he mm. came to my place and uh, through one of my friend and uh, i just bumped into him and i it happened to that i i came after my workout and i was all pumped up with uh, obviously he he i was in my workout gear so he said that uh, it seems that uh, everyone in this house is pretty fit so i told him i looked at him and i told him that you can be fit too so he was like i don't think so so i told him that why don't you do one thing let's let's meet at office at this particular time and that's about it i completely so i asked him for 3 months and uh, i think uh, his entire effort and obviously the kind of guidance that was required and that's where he got the result so it was a good that's where he told me i remember one of his quote that i wouldn't have imagined that how good does it feel to be in a healthy body hmm wow so you you understand the kind of happiness someone feels especially for no weight they would never imagine how energetic or how good does it feel when they shed off those weight so i i still remember that uh, quote uh, what he told me when when he transformed from f- whatever weight to to be fit mm. that was really amazing that's wonderful i hope romit hears this out <laughs> <laughs> we'll definitely make sure i'll uh, i'll make sure to send him so bro you were part of potato project you didn't tell me <laughs> <laughs> of course that was great so how did this uh, relationship further extend to he telling you about you ability like how did you came across like me and i ended up booking the call and everything so uh, i remember what happened was when the entire uh, uh, the covid 19 thing happened from uh, feb onwards when things ra- rather from march when uh, the closure and the closed lockdown happened uh, it happened that uh, i was doing some uh, webinars for corporates and uh, it happened that i spoke to romit because i used to do a lot of corporate wellness to reach out to audiences 
it was more like an awareness kind of a thing because i believe that awareness campaign is very important even before selling anything so mm. i used to do this but then it was not something which was fruit, fruitful for me at this point of time because even though i used to do seminar or or a live uh, webinar session uh, the return was not there so uh, i just spoke to romit about it that this is what i am doing i am uh, operating at this kind of a model then he was the one who who told me that see you're not going anywhere at this point of time this is not going to go anywhere why don't when you know that the potential of the business is so so high why aren't you taking it online so then i asked him do you really think that online would definitely help me and he told me 100% you should and that's where he introduced me to his platform first when i saw his vsl and i was like taken aback that okay this this looks fantastic man this can happen that's where he told me that hey why don't you connect with rohan who is my mentor so i was like okay you have a mentor also that that sounds interesting so this is where he told me that uh, there is a u ability group and uh, just just go through the there he he had sent me the training link and that day itself i just went through the training video and i booked a call i was like okay let me try this out i was anyways uh, like i said 50% i was uh, sold because romit told me he recommended me and he highly recommended me and when i spoke to pratham i was done with the 50% bit and uh, now i am done with 200% with the real case study that i have in front of me so it's like uh, i mean i still have to go 500% ahead but yeah it's 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 really amazing this this journey has been amazing fantastic brother you were telling me you were doing webinars for corporate was that for your own business or for your for the company you were working for before yeah yeah for my own business so i used to do webinar so earlier i used to do a lot of corporate wellness uh, which was again not in an online in an offline way uh, i have done a lot of corporate wellness with uh, some big tech giants like tech mahindra mm. um, with some banks and as well but now because everyone is working from home uh, i thought that why don't i shift the entire model to doing a zoom session with uh individual who is working from home because they need something there 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 is a requirement that's where i told romit about this and he said that why don't you completely turn your business into an online model rather than just doing a piece of it hmm right so i'm assuming those corporate webinars weren't that successful or what was the scenario like it was more from a informate from creating a good proposition or positioning for yourself it was good but getting converting clientele was not that easy from there or converting or generating revenue wasn't easy because uh it was not a specific thing doing a one on one counseling for a corporate at this point at this point of time and converting them was a difficult challenge because they are not coming as a again that was pushed from the corporate that hey there is a session from a xyz so not many people would be interested but whatever people who comes in for the webinar to attend to convert them for for let's say as a as a prospective client was a little difficult not that i'm saying that it's totally difficult but was a little difficult but my idea was to create that awareness uh, for individual that i as a as a as a consultant or as a fitness coach i help you understand that where is the problem so till date my entire agenda of uh, selling anything starts before giving the first hand information to an individual which i think is applicable to all all set of businesses or all business practices that's very important because we we as an individual as coaches one of the thing that misses out is the creating the awareness we jump we jump guns we we just fire into the the solution part but we have we forget to understand where is the pain point where is the problem so mm. that's that's something that's that 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 doesn't work for individual for most of us rather mm. got it understood makes sense man so when you were on like a call with let's say uh, pratham right uh, i'm like talking about it from the perspective of like a lot of other um 
people and like other coaches and everyone who are in the fitness domain you know for them it's like when we are trying to explain them that oh you have to work on your marketing you have to do sales or you have to do this like how we must have explained to you about the whole system and everything to them it it's like rocket science it's like absolutely you know what is this like i just learned how to lift weights what is all this like why should i care about marketing and sales so i want to know from you like how did you convince yourself that man this stuff is really important and i think i should like really learn this stuff like how did you uh, you know get that level of thinking see uh, rohan like i said i was already aware about the potential of online uh, opportunity that's there and i've already tried uh, putting my hands into ad i have i have run google ads i have got my website done from an agency and a developer had a social media team because i had a backup then in terms of the person whom with whom i am doing rather i was doing with but then like i said that i did not know the nitty gritties of doing everything from scratch i was giving that piece of work to someone else hmm so that's where it faltered so for me to be sold on to the entire proposition was the concept itself that was missing so i when i told pratham that i have already tried doing this he he told me that see you know you did this but why didn't i flare in this i did this why didn't i flare in this hmm. and there was a reason behind it now for most of the coaches to connect with all of this thing like you rightly said is a rocket science they can't connect with it because they only understand the the client and the money they are generating mm-hmm. they don't know what goes in the delivery part they don't understand how to create funnel how to build the uh, the technical uh, i mean the digital space merely building an instagram profile or having a facebook or putting your own six pack app doesn't help which most of us or most of the coaches do we need to understand that there has to be an aspirational value for an individual you don't show it people are not going to come to it just by sh- seeing your six pack abs an individual can also run away because that person might think that i can never achieve this hmm so right. there is a two way thinking to this you can always mix and match hmm. you can always mix and match i can show a lot of calisthenics or a body weight exercise or do a uh, uh back flip or somersault but a 120 kg guy would think that yeah why should i even bother that's that's one of a way of positioning you being as a as a coach but that's not something that you can go and show out all by all means and that's where again the problem lies show something that's aspirational to general audience who are suffering at this point of time mm got it then they will be able to connect yeah it truly makes sense so sunny when you were like having that conversation um what made you like you know what was that like one thing or that one feature or thing that we were teaching or whatever that made you want to go okay you know this is exactly what i want to learn let's let's move forward so honestly speaking rohan uh one was obviously the entire concept but for me where i was struggling was the uh generating that revenue thing i remember uh, uh, pratham telling me that he knows a coach uh, who is from australia and uh, who who only specializes in a in a specific segment which is creating a niche and when he asked me that what i am doing right now was the general the general audience like fitness for everyone which everyone does we we talk today to anyone i would say that i provide a solution to everyone and that's where when pratham told me that you when you create a niche for yourself that's where you are driving your you you are the driver uh, you are basically taking control of the entire vehicle and that made me that actually hit me the entire uh, piece that he told me that you need to segment you need to channelize your effort to a particular thing rather than going haywire which i completely related and which i think most of us are doing we don't have a particular path in order to drive our forces and that's where the challenge is how can an individual so today if i have to see myself i am looking like 
it's it's very simple if i have to see that my pain point is a particular thing i can't pitch everything to an individual mm. just an example of what's happening in the gym as well i'm pitching everything to an individual does he or she actually want that particular thing may or may not be and that's a drop out so when pratham told me about this particular thing he also mentioned about a coach who is an a coach uh, based out of australia an international coach doing business in india making a hefty amount and charging that amount which he told me i was just taken aback i was like really does this happen i mean i i am i'm not sure but because he was telling me and there was a lot of uh, uh, fire in what he told me there was some thirst which i believed and i said okay that makes a lot of sense and obviously he backed it up with a lot of uh, case studies that he gave me and i was like so he also gave me an example of pious which apparently i spoke to him a week back uh, so all my uh, community members who are into health and fitness i am anyways connected with them like like dots and uh, it's it, it it's again uh, amazing that how different stories are when everyone is doing good you still tend to learn from everyone so that's the beauty of uh, getting not only to understand from your coaches but from your peers as well where they give the real life case studies i think it's all about storytelling the real storytelling which actually is important in today's time when uh, there is dearth of storytelling there is no real storytelling people mm. want to hear good stories they want to connect but when i say stories has to be a real story and not fake stories <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so exactly what we are doing over here we are sharing sunny's amazing story over here uh, that he was able to accomplish and whatever he was able to uh, sunny so when like you know things are being explained to you like i'm pretty sure you must be like this may work may not work even though like there is so much proof but somebody only sees the results when they begin implementing it right so my question is like how did you convince yourself that you know this can work and i should do it this is not like some sort of scam or anything like that that i should like worry about or this is like i should follow it see uh, one is uh, the stories uh, that that was there because i thoroughly went um, i did little bit of my homework in understanding your platform uh, even though i was referred but that's one bit of it uh maybe romit so there it was always playing at the back of my mind because romit is into different business vertical my vertical is different so i was it was playing in my mind that it might have worked for him might not work for me i don't know but uh, when i went through your uh, your training hearing your stories and uh, uh that 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 kept pushing me that was one of the factors and like i said when pratham explained me the entire concept of understanding that what are the things that i have done wrong which i think by far most of us do in terms of looking for clients at wrong places that's that's there like i said there there is a huge requirement for the services there is a huge requirement and there is a dearth of good resources and if you think that you have a good potential it's it's very simple if you know if you are confident about your product at the first place you know that you just need to sell it in the market but how do you sell it in the market is what was missing and that's when pratham told me that when he understood the entire concept of how and how i deliver my services to an individual that's where he vouched on that's where he told me that you know what you have a good product or services but it's not reaching out to the audience there's no point Mm. and even if it's reaching out it's reaching out in the wrong way and i think that's that's has been the worry for not only for me but for others as well and that's one of the thing that uh, uh hit me uh, very very hard in terms of understanding that okay it's it's not a choice for me it's something that i should do it right now and not leave it on to probably even a second Mm. there was no choice for me i was like i have to do it and if i am doing a business for that matter it's a business there is a risk everywhere it may or may not work i am selling a solution there is a risk for an individual as well i am giving a pitch i have lot of stories 
but that is the risk worth it yes if it's concerned with my life yes why not there if business is all about risk we have learned in in the first chapter of business is one of the characteristic of business is risk so you need to take that risk everyone is taking that risk but risk can it be uh, negated can it be uh, can it be reduced yes of course by virtue of what you hear what you see uh, what kind of proposition is offered to you definitely and i think that was one of the uh, value that was offered to me in the tutorial when i spoke to pratham when i heard lot of uh, uh, testimonial when romit told me references all of these things put together in the puzzle uh, helped me decide that no this is the course that i should go ahead and the first week itself when i went and uh, did my first uh, uh, first lesson and completed my week one course i was like that i called up romit and i told him thank you so much hmm. awesome man so uh not even going to the second or third week wherein you talk about how to take your business in the first week itself i thought that i don't know what is the outcome but for sure i'm on the right track hmm definitely what gave you that feeling like what made you like the happiest when you were going through every single thing like the happiest moment i think uh, the fact that the information that is given to an individual when when they undergo this course is from scratch see today everyone we we everyone requires hand holding everyone require coaching no matter wherever you are you might require coaching but that coaching when when you like i said for me a client will may or may not know but i have to understand that the skill set is zero the motivation is zero similarly i think i could completely relate with this is because i think you can have a web developer on board doing a business with you someone who would have a business acumen but wouldn't know about web development you still teach everyone from scratch that's the beauty of the course that's the entitlement or the ownership that the course has even though it's online we in our country we don't uh understand the importance of online you can do an offline course you can go and study in the classroom and don't grab 10% of it but you would you can do an online course and get the most of it, out of it even though you do not have physical intervention that's the best part i think this is apart from my online nutrition course which has only been a course module and no interaction with any individual because that was more of a content driven thing i think this is my first Uh, online course i would say and i can vouch on it and that's where i think for my services as well i can vouch on it that it can be one of the supreme services wherein people have so much of myth that it has to be offline it 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 does not need to be offline if you are getting the best guidance you can deliver if you are not getting the best guidance you can't deliver in offline as well hmm absolutely true absolutely true man So when you were like going for this course did you come across like any competitors of ours or something like that because you know you might have seen like other things that are out there in the marketplace and why I have, exactly I have bumped into like lot of competitors like lot I don't know it, it's because I am doing this course or I never got this feed in in my in this kind of advertisement on my feed probably i would have but i never paid heed to it but now i am paying attention to it i have got lot of uh, ads um, interestingly that a lot of marketing uh, someone is talking about youtube marketing someone is talking about linkedin marketing someone is talking about cold marketing someone is talking about generating million and trillion dollar of business so mm. i am coming across uh, most of them but like i said uh, ultimately it's you you need even if you're going through any of the courses it's like my service uh, that i am the service that i'm providing if i am connecting with you in terms of what you are providing you are sold for it for example if i get a client i'm sure that client has tried somewhere else as well he he must have he or she must have tried somewhere else probably he could not connect with that person if he was if i am coming to you and you sell it to me at the first go if i am like 100% i don't need to look somewhere else 
Mm. So right. it's 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 very simple that uh, I I still come across the best part is I still click on it. <laughs> I see the video. <laughs> I still try to figure out what different are they providing. But like I said, uh, your course, the the U ability course, provides everything what it takes to take off your business. Ultimately, it's the hard work and cons- consistency, which I think you have told it on in the in the week one itself that there is no magic. uh there's no magic that's going to happen you still need to put in the hard work and consistency in order to drive the business so even though uh we see lot of people doing great businesses uh, in in the u ability family as well i'm sure that they are putting lot of effort every day day in day out to build that process same as for me i have come from point a to point b but now is the time to scale it and create a process which is very important because right now i don't have a process i am still in a building phase once i have that process then it gives me the leverage to take it to another level mm-hmm. i think that that that's very much a part of the course making you understand how do you build the entire course structure how do you build the funnel which is very important in in our country we don't have a concept of funnel uh mm-hmm. there is there is nothing called as funnel whatever comes from wherever you grab <laughs> and put it wherever you want sales ho raha hai to achhi baat hai nahi ho raha hai to bhagwan bharose good point man so sunny like uh, now comes to the main point which is like i think you've been part of our program for like one one month or something so i want to talk about like the results that you have uh, finally achieved in terms of like monetary wise what was your situation before and like where are you standing at right now so jan to march 2020 i think i had i did a sales of 8 10000 three months in three months because i did not have any source from where i could get business because i was entirely dependent on the on the offline model completely and because the the gym business got shut down it impacted me which i mentioned earlier hmm. that the dependency is very high i started uh, from uh, uh, i think i enrolled in april but uh, by the time i picked up the course everything uh, it was mid may or something and i completed at the end of the may so first month uh, starting with june first june till the end of the month i did a revenue of 1.45 wow man. organically and uh, this month has already started with a good hit uh, with numbers it's already 62 with just two days so i'm look nice. i'm hopeful that i uh, break my numbers break my previous target uh, of the last month and uh, clock bigger number because this month i am also planning to launch my ad campaign which i'm very hopeful and excited about it as well uh, uh, that's again a new experience but uh, everything is an experience in life so i'm i'm hoping uh, for the best so it's it's amazing how the numbers has been uh, even in in the crisis when most of the businesses are bleeding uh mm-hmm. i mean everywhere you see is a negativity about business not doing good whether you hear it from your friend from people it's it's very very obvious that businesses are not doing good mm-hmm. but uh, also for a fact that if you change your business dynamic the way you function it's amazing that how your business the same business same line of business can fetch revenue in in great numbers and i think i have done it for myself others can do it as well if they know what they need to do it hmm. there's no rocket science that's amazing sunny like going all the way from 8 to 10000 in 3 months to like 1.4 your first month with your ability and for june uh, july sorry it's been like 2 days 60 grand so yes. that's like some phenomenal results sunny and i'm pretty sure i'll be bothering you after 5 months again i'll be like sunny welcome to 5 lakh club <laughs> now let's do another video so that's that's definitely going to happen and i'm i'm pretty sure i'm i'm there with you so it will ha- happen for sure so sunny thank you me, so much bro 
any final like words or pieces of advice for any kind of coach or personal trainer in fitness domain that might be watching this video or might be seeing this like what's your advice to them so my advice it's not an advice it's see i i always prefer sharing my experience um my everyone most of us all the fitness coaches including me uh, before as well we run after numbers we run after sales we run after selling don't do it the more you try to do it you are only going to end up in a situation of being in a hand to mouth wherein you will earn only to survive that's the biggest challenge learn to train yourself first which is very important which is knowing the kind of information so if you are trying to put the right information for people out there you are being sold hmm absolutely unfortunately we think that let's be a a taker first hmm. and that's that's where the universe the answer with the universe lies if you try to take first you are not going to uh, succeed or it's not going to give you result in the longer term you need to give information you need to push it out to the client help them genuinely if you help them genuinely your clients are going to come to you and we all have networks we all have big networks today everyone is connected so make the most of it i think that's what really matters and once you have a credential a credibility in terms of what you have delivered which we call as a proof of concept there's no looking back absolutely no looking back you will always go in leaps and bounds hmm. that's for sure so avoid the uh, uh, running after people uh, make yourself pricey by giving information to people and not by by a cost attached to yourself the cost will come you will have a tag for yourself but make that pricey thing for yourself by giving that value add to the society it's not a gyan it's but it happens in real life because no one is going to pay for you uh by just knowing that you are a fitness coach or you are a consultant or any service provider unless they don't know who you are and the only way to do this is to market yourself which is by giving a lot of knowledge right knowledge not just knowledge the right knowledge relevant knowledge when you are game for it absolutely brother so sunny firstly i want to thank you so much for actually coming to this call and sharing all your valuable insights i am pretty sure there must be personal trainers out all over the country who might be listening to this video uh, who might be really interested in making a career out of themselves and by listening to your story uh, they will be definitely motivated towards taking action in the right direction so sunny anyone who is uh, watching this video and potentially they are let's say you know not a coach or somebody and they are just like looking to get in shape get lean and everything else how can they find you like how can they actually locate you and get in touch with you so uh, i anyways have a community group which is on the facebook with the name take charge um uh, because my entire value proposition imbibe on taking charge of your health because for me fitness can be a choice but it it can't run if if it does not become a habit so it's very important so i have a community group on facebook uh, which is uh, in the name of take charge my instagram uh, handle is sunny gupta which they can find and they can always reach out to me on the on the facebook and also if they want to uh, uh, reach out to me uh, in an online space which is going to my website which is takecharge.co.in uh, wherein they can just go through my training video and know what does it take for you to transform your health that's very important you should know you shouldn't actually think about or bother about weight loss or weight gain no you should first introspect what does it take for you to transform your health that's very important once you know the why of it you will definitely find the solution hmm absolutely so that's there in that training video wherein i have explained the entire uh with the information about how you can drive your fitness and health journey as a as a lifetime thing and as a lifestyle as well hmm correct 
So I'll put the link uh, to Sunny's website right below this video. Anybody interested could definitely go check that out. And yeah, Sunny, thank you so much for taking out the time, brother. Like thank looking so forward fun. to a my pleasure numbers from your end in the future. Definitely, it it was pleasure having and talking to you for the first time in person. <laughs> uh, even though the online, but had had an amazing discussion with you. Amazing, brother. Take care.